What's up everyone? What a day. RBZ from $6 to 27 bucks. That's as of right now, 12 noon. By the time the market closes, who knows? The stock could either be at $50 or it could be back at $6. Just crazy momentum. Seriously, crazy. RBZ was halted six times in a row going up. I don't think I've ever seen that. You know, the first halt, I was like, well, we'll see what I can do on it. I think I, I jumped in um, out of the first halt and scalped into the second halt. And then coming out of the second halt, I was like, well, you know, don't add. I'm not going to add going into the third halt. That's like 101, super risky to do that, usually. Well, it halts a third time. And I'm like, all right, well, that's cool. And then it goes up, halts a fourth time. And I was like, what is going on with this thing? Fifth time, sixth time, crazy momentum. And then it halts twice going down, once coming back up just totally wild. So on RBZ, I made some money on it. My best trade in terms of like maybe dollar per share was buying the dip off 1290 and selling as it popped up to uh, 15, $16. But the, the stock that I did really well on was CTRM. Now this is what I always say. If, if I miss trade number one, you know, RBZ is the train that's left the station. If I miss it, then rather than try to jump on and buy something that's extended and chase it and give it to FOMO, it's usually better for me to wait for the next stock that starts to pop up, and that was CTRM. It hit our scanners, I jumped in quick, very similar daily chart, low float, just everything about it looked like it had the potential, and it went from $6 to a high of about $8.50 or so, and so made $11,000 on that one in two trades. You know, I feel a little bummed out I didn't make more on RBZ, but at the same time, I followed my rules. I didn't chase it. And this is the frustrating thing about trading is that sometimes you get rewarded when you chase stuff, even though you're breaking a rule. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. Uh, we're going to upload a video uh, Saturday morning that you guys are going to really enjoy where I talk about how to bounce back from a huge loss and just that mental struggle of when is it okay to break rules and when is it not okay. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And for today's recap, as always, any questions, any comments, leave them below. I'll come back through and answer them over the weekend. I'll see you guys all first thing on Monday morning. All right, everyone. Well, we'll do our midday market recap here. Um, can't complain too much today. This is going to be the biggest green day here in um, a couple of weeks, which is awesome. Traded five stocks, green on all five. So accuracy on point. Uh, I, I think I did have one loser today on um, PHUN, but you know, whatever. So a bunch of winners, one loser, a couple of really amazing momentum stocks. RBZ currently is halted. It's up 56%. Uh, it ended up going this morning from $8 all the way up to $27 per share. From eight bucks to $27 and then very quickly back here down to 14. I traded it um, early on in the move right here around 11, selling after the second halt uh, before it went into the third halt, having no idea that it would halt six times going up. Halted six times in a row going up, which is insane. I mean, that's unprecedented. I, I, I don't know that I've ever seen a stock go up six times in a row, halt six times in a row going up, and then halt twice in a row coming back down and then I bought the dip right here uh, in at 12.90 uh, and, and 13 and sold here coming out as it popped up to 16. So I'm only up $1,300, $1,400 on RBZ. You know, this is one of those days where I followed my rules. I said, Ross, you cannot buy this stock coming out of a third halt. You know that this is the exact type of stock that you could lose $10,000, $12,000 on in a heartbeat. You can't do it. You can't afford to do it. You're on a really good green stretch here. You know, this this right now could be my fifth green day in a row. I need to stay focused. And so I took one low risk trade on it. And then by the time it was going up here, I just kept saying, the risk is too high. I need to follow my rules. However, I will look for sympathy momentum. And that's what we got on CTRM. A similar stock on the daily chart opening up here it hit the the, uh, the scanners this morning, and this was the one that that made up for it. So that's what I kind of like to say is, you know, if um, you know if one train leaves the station without you, just wait for the next one. 
So I jumped in this right here at six. It pops up to 718. I added going into the second halt, being a little more aggressive since um, RBZ was so strong. It went to a high of 780 and then it rolled over and I had to sell when it came back down. So made about 7,000 on the first trade and then got back in on the second one right here and made another uh, $4,000 or $5,000 on this trade as it squeezed up to a high of 848. So it did okay. It didn't do as well as I hoped it would do. I was hoping that we might get two, three, four halts in a row, just like RBZ, and this thing would be up to you know 10 or $12, and I'd be in it from $6.50. But you know, I I'm not, can't complain, really. Can't complain being up $14,000 in you know, an hour and a half of trading, life is good. And, and you know, I'm still not feeling good. I, 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 today I was like, well, I'm gonna come into the office because trading from home yesterday, I kind of had some issues with my hotkeys. I, I would have done better if I'd come down. It just wasn't feeling well. And I was like, I, I can do, I'll just, I'll come down, I'll trade, I'll do my thing, and then I'll just go home and rest. So, hey, coming down $14,000, that's a great way to finish the week. Like, really? That's awesome. I feel good about that. So um, that's going to put me up around uh, $146,000 on the year right now, uh, which is not bad for, for April. I mean, that's that's more than a lot of people make in an entire year. And I'm sitting there in April. And um, it puts me up $35,000 on the month. Remember, my monthly goal is forty grand a month. Forty grand a month is ten grand a week. And how many days left do we still have in the month of April? We've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Halfway through the month, and I'm basically, you know, just shy of my monthly goal. So, you know, that's good because last month I didn't hit my monthly goal. So this will give me a little time to play some catch up, uh, try to make a little bit of progress, and um, you know, I, I mean, I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape here. So, you know. Um, an unexpected day, but you know, just very, very grateful for it. Grateful for the momentum, and uh, you know, I, as much as I might feel a little FOMO that I didn't make as much as I could have made on RBZ, I couldn't afford to take the risk required to step up into this trade. I just couldn't afford to take that risk. Not where I'm at right now. Right now, I just need to be having consistent green days. I can't take. I just can't take a ton of risk. If I do that, I'm gonna put myself into a really bad position. And now RBZ is looks like it might get halted going down again. Um, you know, this is um, you know this is it's very it's now at this point very weak. So you know, I think um, you know the the easy money today is definitely behind us. Uh, not that it's ever easy easy, but um, relatively speaking, I think that at this point. Um, you know, it's 11.30 a.m. It's been a great Friday and, um, you know, close up shop here. Haven't really been keeping a close track of where I'm at with my account balances and stuff like that. Um, I am trading in my retirement account, my IRA account. Uh, that's been really great. It's tax free, which is terrific. So this is a day of tax free growth. I'll be able to thank myself in my 50s when um, I'm withdrawing this this money and knowing that this was you know, some, some hard work that I put in in my 30s to get this account started. And then, I, of course, I get to benefit from compound compounding interest, right? You know, I've got 20 years, uh, hopefully a good 20 years before I uh, am thinking about retiring. So that means, you know, $500,000 that I might make this year, I can put, put away for the next 20 years and let it grow. Compound interest, every 10 years, roughly, it doubles. So that means in, by the age of 40, the 500 will be a million. By the age of 50, the 1 million will be 2 million. By the age of 60, the 2 million will be 4 million. All right, that's just, that's standard compound interest, seven, eight percent growth a year. Um, you know, that's, and, and that's if I don't trade the money. That's if I just take 500K out of this and put it into a different Roth IRA that's invested in, you know, ETFs and, and maybe a couple mutual funds and, and some bonds and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, this, I had someone on YouTube the other day say, Ross, you know, if you can take $583 and turn it into 100K, you would have taken 58,000 and turned it into 100 million. You're a liar. You know, if you, if you could, 
If, if this was true, you would just do that. And here's the problem. You can't take 58,000 and turn it into 100 million because in order to do that, you'd have to be taking uh, 10 times the average position size. Instead of your average position size being uh, 8,000 shares, it would have to be uh, actually 800,000 shares. You can't buy 800,000 shares of a stock like RBZ. You can't buy 800,000 shares of a stock like CTRM. So there is a limit to how much you can make as an active trader. You can't expect that you're going to have 10%, 12% growth compound forever all the way up to a billion dollars. That's just not how it works. Can you take a small account like $500, $600 and grow it quickly? Yeah, that's what I've done. You know, But uh, there is a limit to scalability. So that's that's the downside of trading. Although where you hit that limit is up around you know the probably million dollar a year level. So I wouldn't get too bent out of shape about it. Um, you know, it's uh, unless you're really looking for something to do that's going to make you 10 million a year. Most people are going to be really happy with 200,000 a year, 500,000, a million a year is like a dream for 99% of people out there. So we focus on the goals that are uh, achievable, re more readily uh, achievable than uh, these kind of like really crazy, crazy, ambitious 10 million, 20 million dollar goals. That's that's not what we focus on. Our goal is to teach you how to make $200 a day. And uh, looks like a lot of you guys today hit that goal. So I'm really happy for you. Um, you know, another green day and we'll be back at it on Monday, hopefully uh, for my sixth consecutive green day and just keep this momentum going. Reminder guys, this is sad. Uh, next Friday, the market is closed for Good Friday. So that means next week is only a four day week. But um, in four four days, I'll see if I can, you know, have four good solid green days and maybe have uh, $10,000 of profit, which would be my weekly goal. All right, everyone. So I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Live trades from the dip buy on RBZ, from the move up on RBZ and from CTRM are going to be uploaded to um, live trading archives for Warrior Pro students. So students, you'll be able to see that. Uh, we'll get that uploaded um, later, uh, I guess, uh, today probably. All right, everyone. I'll see you all first thing on Monday morning. Bye, guys. If you're still watching, you must have really enjoyed that video. So why not subscribe and get email alerts anytime I upload new content? Remember, when you subscribe, you become a member of the Warrior Trading family.